Is there a cure for a personality disorder? The general answer to this question is no, because personality traits become embedded in a person during adolescence and carries on throughout a lifetime. However, I am about to share with you successful interventions that will change the lives of those suffering from all personality disorders. These include antisocial, borderline, narcissism, schizotypal, dependent, avoidant, histrionic, paranoia, schizoid, and obsessive compulsive. Hello, I am Jennifer Hill, a licensed professional clinical counselor. I will begin by discussing antisocial personality disorder, which is one of the most difficult personality disorders to treat. People with this condition rarely seek treatment on their own. They may only start therapy when required by a court. Behavioral treatments that award appropriate behavior and have negative consequences for illegal behavior have been found to be the most successful. Individuals with antisocial personality who have other disorders such as a mood or substance disorder are often treated for those problems simultaneously with other talk therapy approaches. Next, I will share with you the interventions that are used when treating someone diagnosed with histrionic personality disorder. Talk therapy is the most optimal approach People with this condition often seek treatment when they experience depression or anxiety from failed romantic relationships or other conflicts with people. The goal of treatment is to help the individual uncover the motivations and fears associated with his or her thoughts and behavior and to help the person learn to relate to others in a more positive way. On the other hand, borderline personality disorder is found to have a higher prevalence. Individual talk therapy is used for treatment, used for treatment with an emphasis on dialectical behavioral therapy. Quite often, group therapy can be helpful when individuals are learning dialectical behavioral skills such as mindfulness, emotional regulation, and interpersonal effectiveness. Group members are able to practice the, those skills with each other to improve mood swings and treat depression that tends to occur with this condition. Now for narcissistic personality disorder. That treatment, um, we use talk therapy, and that this helps the affected person relate to others in a more positive and compassionate way. Treatment usually involves interpersonal approaches that builds up poor self-esteem and develops more realistic expectations. Schizo, schizo, sorry, Typical personality disorder. Um, try saying that 10 times fast. <laughs> Talk therapy is an important part of treatment. Social skills training can help some people cope with social situations, and medicines may also be helpful. When treating dependent personality disorder, there are different psychotherapeutic approaches considered to be effective treatments. The aim is to help people with this condition make more independent choices in life. Cognitive behavioral therapy can help individuals with the disorder develop healthier and more accurate thinking patterns with restructuring thoughts to positively influence their self-identity, behaviors, and interpersonal functioning. Psychodynamic therapy usually requires a long-term commitment, but is 
one of the most effective approaches for treating dependent personalities. With this method, the therapist guides the client in exploring the connection between the psyche, personality, and cognitions. Next, avoidant personality disorder. Talk therapy is considered to be the most effective, uh, effective treatment for this condition. It helps people with this disorder be less sensitive to rejection. Histrionic personality disorder. Well, people with this condition often seek treatment when they experience depression or anxiety from failed romantic relationships or conflicts with people. Medicine may help the symptoms. Talk therapy is the best treatment for the condition itself. Schizoid personality disorder. This is a difficult one to treat because psychotherapy, um, individuals with this disorder tend to not uh, seek out help. And because they rarely seek treatment, this is there's little known about which treatments really work. However, when using talk therapy, it may not be as effective for this disorder because they have great difficulty forming an effective working relationship with a therapist. One approach that appears to help is to put fewer demands for emotional closeness or intimacy. They tend to be better at handling relationships that focus on work or intellectual activities and expectations. And treatment will likely focus on increasing general coping skills as well as improving social interaction, communication, and self-esteem. Lastly, I will cover the treatments for obsessive compulsive personality disorder. Cognitive behavioral therapy is thought to be the most effective treatment for OCPD when it focuses on two components, exposure and response prevention, as well as cognitive therapy. Exposure and response prevention involves repeated exposure to the source of the obsession, then refraining from the compulsive behaviors needed to reduce the anxiety. The cognitive therapy component focuses on the catastrophic thoughts and exaggerated sense of responsibility when not responding to the compulsive behaviors. If you have found the value in this content of the video and you know someone that could benefit, please like, share, or comment below. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. For additional resources or to book a counseling appointment, visit my website at jenniferhillcounseling.com. My private practice, Jennifer Hill Counseling, is located in Carlsbad, California, and our doors are always open, ready to help anyone. Be sure to tune in every other Friday at 2 p.m. for a new video on a mental health topic. If you have any questions, would like to discuss a specific topic in detail, want to know more about how you can help someone suffering, or want to know more on how I can help you, please leave your request in the comments below. Thank you for watching.